Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today we are going to be looking at something called tensegrity, which basically is a way to build something that doesn't have any, you know, when you, when you make a building, if you're building it out of Legos or you're making it out of whatever you're making it out of, you usually start with like four up and down sticks in the corners and then the floor below, floor above. This has none of that. It's constructed with tension and it's constructed with centers of balance and counterbalances. So it looks a little bit different than a normal building. This is something that is super cool and it's something that we're gonna be taking a look at later in September and October when we get back to in-person programs like Curiosity Club. So let's take a look. So we're gonna start out with eight popsicle sticks we're gonna take the first three, we're gonna use a hot glue gun, and we are going to affix them in a triangle pattern. Just glue in those corners. We're gonna use two of these, and then we're gonna to have to do a little bit of math to stick seven and eight to make them work for our purposes. And then we'll begin to construct our structure. So I'm going to make a mark at about 90 millimeters, just under, and then I want a 60 degree angle. So I'm gonna use my kind of protractor tool here to make sure that I am gonna get that 60 degree angle right at the point that I want it on my popsicle stick. And once I draw that in, I'm gonna cut them at that angle. Next, I'm going to put a very small hole that thread could go through in the end of each of the popsicle sticks seven and eight. Now on my first triangle, I'm gonna measure halfway between the corners on the bottom bar. So halfway is about right there. And I'm gonna use some hot glue and affix that at that angle right to the middle. I'll hold it in place for a second to make sure that it dries all the way. Then for my next stick, I'm gonna take the second triangle and I'm gonna use hot glue and I'm gonna have this one sticking up from one of the corners. We'll hold that one in place for just a little bit too to make sure that it is solidly on there. Then I'm gonna take my two structures and I'm gonna face them together with the stick in the middle on the bottom and the stick off the triangle point on the top. And I'm going to tie the two corners together with thread. Then I'm going to rotate it and I'm gonna tie the next corner together with thread. This part's a little bit tricky because you wanna make sure that they stay about the same distance apart, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then finally, I'm gonna do the third corner. So each point on that triangle is going to have thread holding them together. And you can kind of see that we're sort of getting a Z shape in the middle, and that's what we're gonna look at next. I'm gonna take a long length of thread and I'm going to tie it through the hole on the popsicle stick that is coming up from the bottom. So I'm gonna set it down for a second. I'm gonna string the thread through. And the one that's on the bottom is gonna be the one that's coming from the middle of the popsicle stick, not the point. Okay. And once I have that done, the next part's a, a little tricky to see, but then I will string it through the hole in the other popsicle stick and I'm going to slowly pull it tight. And once I do, that top layer will pull up and we're gonna have a structure. I'm gonna get a better camera angle of this. I just kind of wanted to, to try to show you so you could see the, the two sticks in the middle. So here is a different angle and I haven't tied that top popsicle. Um, it's just that the string is pulled through but it's the balance 
of the center of gravity between the string in the middle and the string on the corners. In physics, they call it components under compression inside a network of continuous tension, which is pretty cool. Thank you for following along, guys. I hope you found that as cool as I did, and I will see you right back here next week for another science short.